Good day to you lovely people, it's David Anthony the Creepy Bard coming to you from the Reading Railroad Heritage Museum here in Hamburg, Pennsylvania. Now this building here actually has nothing to do with the railroad, it used to be a steel foundry but that closed down in the early 2000s and they turned it into a museum for the Reading Railroad. Now the Reading Railroad got started out in this area of the country back in the 1830s and basically the whole the point of them of putting down the rail lines, just connecting places, was to get the coal out of the coal mines up in the Appalachian Mountains which was our to the north of here and we're actually kind of in them right now kind of going in and out of them and pulling the coal down bringing it to cities like Philadelphia and then connecting cities like that to cities like New York and other cities like Baltimore and connecting all around and then eventually as the 19th century rolled along they started doing other things passenger lining as well but let's go on inside and take a look at the kind of stuff that, that they had in the 19th century because I think that's neat so there's a number of interesting things in here that I want to show you. Of course, there's some bells and some, some horns from the, from the various engines, from the various trains. But one thing they got here is a recreation of an office, a railroad office from, oh, the 1880s, 1890s, somewhere around there. And you see on the desk back there, he's got the little, the little telegraph, the little beep, 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 latest in modern technology, and the telephone there up on the wall, back when the thing was just a thing that would plug into the wall and you had a speaking piece and a listening piece and of course a typewriter that's a computer before it was a computer my goodness how things have changed but of course if you come over to this side you get a little bit more of a change and this is technology which is somehow more familiar and yet less familiar this is from oh, the 70s or so my goodness I don't even know what those are it looks complicated but it's probably a lot simpler than I think it is but uh, yeah, that's how technology keeps on progressing on. So yeah, unfortunately that modern technology that we saw from the 70s wasn't really enough to keep them going. There's all sorts of other more modern technology that's coming along, electrified tracks and more complicated, complicated, and the Reading Railroad Company just wasn't really able to keep up with it. And so it's just sort of kind of gone under. And now you have a museum about it because they're not really doing nearly as much as they used to. Uh, technology keeps changing. And speaking of technologies replacing technologies and industries replacing industries, I am right now at the Leesport Lock House here in Leesport, Pennsylvania. This building behind me was built in the 1840s as a living quarters for the fellow who worked the lock here because railroads wasn't the only way of getting coal out of the mountains and down to the cities. The other way was through canals. Canals would be dug connecting the mines to the cities and then places like here where you have the lock, you'd have a little Town that would grow up and people would be able to not only but it wouldn't just serve the coal miners it would also serve the people who lived here in the town I'm gonna actually get the place itself behind me there we go isn't that a lovely place right there now up here this is the lock itself this is the actual lock over there's the house where the fellow lived in this is all built by the school kill navigation company and if you look behind me over here, you see that long ditch that separates this high ground where I'm at between me and the actual house behind me. That ditch there, that's what's left of the canal. Because the railroads eventually replaced the canals. The canals ended up getting filled in in the late 19th century because that got replaced. And now it's not even a canal anymore, it's just a little ditch. It once was the canal is beneath there and under there there's, there's stones that would have lined the canal but they were all buried. You could probably dig down and find them. And yeah, that is how technology marches on. It kind of makes you feel nostalgic. But then again, I kind of like planes. One more thing before I continue on my way to Harrisburg. These guys have a tank outside of their post office. I think that's awesome. Now, Pennsylvania wasn't the only place where they had canals. Right now, I am in LaSalle, Illinois, where they also had canals going up and down the river, so that way you could go up the river instead of just down the river against the flow because you're not going against the flow of the river, you're going in the canal, like this one right here, which goes parallel to the Illinois River. And right now, you're looking at a lock, very much like the lock I showed you before, except this one is actually functioning. This one actually still works, and they got the boat right down there, and you can take a ride on that boat and go in and out of the lock and up and down the canal, but you gotta pay money for that. And I don't have money to pay for that, so I'm not going on there. But still, you can see the boat. Ain't that pretty? Some of these things still work.